What's up, everyone? Welcome to another video. Uh, Zach here with you again, and we are going to talk about uh, investing today. Uh, but before we do, go ahead and like the video before you even watch it. Go ahead and subscribe as well. Let's build the community up a little bit. I'm going to film this one real quick. Uh, really tired, but I just felt like I wanted to make this video while I had some time to myself. So I'm not going to do any editing. Chase, I know I let you down. But let's jump right into this real fast. Uh, so what we're going to talk about is an ETF. So for those of you who happen to know, to not know, ETF is a fund that you can buy shares of that track dif that track different companies. For example, S&P 500, which most people, even if you don't invest, know about, tracks the, uh, the top 500 companies based on market value, and you buy a share of the ETF, you own a little bit of each of those companies, and then their performance dictate how the fund does. Um, now this one, from a group called Beyond Investing, is the Vegan ETF. Now, what caught my eye and most people's eye on this is the word veganism, because even though there are different ETFs that are environmentally conscious, and I'll talk about talk about a couple of those here in just a second, uh, the, the word vegan can attract a lot of attention, whether it be positive or negative. It's mostly negative, but as you can see on uh, Beyond Investing's page here, uh, they talk about uh, the U.S. Vegan Climate ETF. Uh, VEGN is the ticker. Uh, basically, they focus on companies that offer a humane approach. Uh, they're animal friendly, uh, no animal testing, no uh, animal derived products. Good for the environment and good for people. Um, they uh, they exclude uh, companies that involve uh, like military, uh, defense, uh, tobacco companies that uh, in, are involved in any type of animal suffering or animal testing, um, and that's basic. And I'd leave tobacco if I didn't mention that. Uh, so. Basically, she's focus, focusing on trying to focus on companies that are better for the environment and better for the people. Uh, and as we scroll down here, here's a little bit of information that we have on it. Uh, again, the ticker is VEGM. Uh, the fund inception is set for uh, the ninth of next month. Uh, we'll see. You know, we'll see if that uh, changes or stays the same. Uh, the closing price is twenty-five dollars. We'll see uh, if that's what it ends up being or it changes. Um, now it does give the uh, the top ten holdings so far. Uh, does not give the entire list of holdings just yet. Um, I'll, uh, if you're curious about that, I'll keep looking and update it whenever I can. Uh, so here's the top ten. Now you have the you know the the big boys on the market: Microsoft, uh, uh, Apple, Facebook, uh, J.P. Morgan. Um, no Google, which yeah, no Google as of right now. Um, the the two that caught my eye was uh, Verizon and AT and T uh, with a lot of the uh, controversy with 5G towers and uh, the health the the health scares and uh, all that I'm surprised to see those on this list um, that you know subject to change uh, so they could be added or they could be taken off or they could stay on there uh, that just depends but I'm definitely kind of surprised to see those on there um, especially since a lot of vegans are definitely at the forefront of uh, bringing awareness to the situation um, but I'm definitely curious to see how this plays out. Um, there has been a history of uh, uh, different, not vegan, not you know, quote unquote vegan funds, but different envir environment funds uh, being successful. Here, here, for example, is uh, the Vanguard uh, ESG uh, fund. Uh, the so it tracks uh, companies that exclude, as you can see here, adult entertainment, alcohol, tobacco, weapons, fossil fuels, gambling, gambling, and nuclear power, uh, and it also excludes companies that do not meet, uh, the meet diversity criteria, whether it's a uh, high, you know, diverse diversification, hiring, uh, based on, you know, race, uh, gender, all that good stuff. Uh, and as you can see, let me find it here, uh, performance. And so here, uh, it shows goes back to about September of 2018. As you see, it took a dip here in uh, November of 2018, but then it's had a steady uh, increase, uh, which is good. And why is it not? I don't know why it's not working, but but anyway, uh, as you can see, uh, you know, there's been a, a been, been a good amount of growth there. Um, and as far as the iShares. Uh, High shares. Let me pull up the chart. Uh, it goes all the way back to 2006, uh, November. So it started off uh, at that time about $50 per share. 
took a dip here uh, around March of 2009. As you can see, it's just been a steady uptick uh, all the way till now, where it's just a little bit over $100 per share of this uh, of this particular ETF. Uh, and as far as what it tracks, it track it's basic. Basically, the overview attracts the same thing as the the Vanguard one, uh, with the the top ten holdings being relatively the same. Uh, Microsoft, Facebook, you got uh, Alphabet, Google on here, and uh, you know Walt Disney, uh, Verizon, uh, like the the vegan one had. Uh, so the primary difference between um, the Vanguard fund and the iShares fund between the vegan one, uh, for example, I don't think you'll see McDonald's on the vegan one. Um, that would that would shock me. Uh, I kind of iffy on the uh, AT and T and Verizon, but the uh, McDonald's I don't think so. Uh, but as you can see, uh, that there's definitely growth potential on these. Like I said, the uh, the word vegan can help or hinder something. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, the main thing that's got me kind of wary about it is, as you can see, let me see if I can pull it up here. So basically. 0.12% expense ratio for the Vanguard fund. So, yeah, that's it's a dollar and what twenty cents. Uh, I think I'm getting. I think I'm getting that right. Uh, for every thousand you have invested, and then 0.25% expense ratio for iShares, which is a little bit higher, but not too bad. 0.60%. So every thousand dollars, it's six dollars that you're charged to you know have the fund. Um, that's a bit high. It's like about five times as what as the the fee for the Vanguard fund. Um, I think that the primary you know boost that this fund will need will be from the vegan community who isn't into investing but wants to help the fund grow just because they want to support uh, what they're doing. Uh, but I see the uh, I see the expense ratio kind of scaring people off a little bit. Um, it's it's definitely got me questioning it. Uh, I will hold final judgment until I see the full holdings, uh, but we'll go from there. Uh, hopefully, it's not too daunting because I think, where is it? No, I think it's on the iShares. If you, uh, yeah, if you pull it up, uh, all of their holdings, uh, there's 41 pages worth, and it goes all the way down. It's like, doesn't even look like they have anything. You have Office Depot. With a 0.01 percent weight of the uh, of the fund, and then just goes up a little bit from there. Uh, so, yeah, see so yeah, Jack in the Box. I doubt you'll see that on the on the vegan fund. But uh, the, yeah, that's uh, it for this video. Um, I primarily primarily made it just so just to kind of spread the word on this because it's uh, whether you whether you invest or not, or whether you care that uh, it's a ve you know a vegan fund uh, or not. It's definitely it's definitely interesting, and I've, I'm curious to see what happens with it. But uh, if you were interested in this video, uh, keep a lookout because whenever the full fund um, holdings list is released, I'll make a video talking about some of that, and we'll see uh, whether this is a good buy or not. But if you stuck around to the end, like the video, I appreciate you all watching, and see you all in the next one.